Hi, I'm Jeff Jones from Bike Radar and I have an addiction to Aero Kit. What I have here is not going to help me kick that habit because it's a very rare specimen of a specialised McLaren TT helmet. We weighed this helmet at 350 grams on our scales, so it's pretty light for a time trial helmet. It's been designed by McLaren for Specialized using computational fluid dynamics, uh, extensive prototyping and wind tunnel testing, allowing for the fact that riders will move their heads around a bit during the event or the wind can change the direction. While it may look like a normal aero helmet, uh, albeit a stubby tailed one, the key feature are these gills on the side of it. These work to pull air from the side of the rider's head through the helmet and out of this exhaust vent here. This reduces the pressure of the air that's hitting the uh, shoulders of the rider and therefore reduces the overall drag. Uh, it's built to work without a visor. McLaren actually reckoned that a visor will slow this helmet down. This also means you can wear it with glasses or nothing and that reduces the chance that you'll over overheat or um, your visor will fog up. Okay, key question here, how much time does it save? Now this is something that we haven't been able to verify yet because this is only a, a sample helmet, uh, it's not the production version. Specialized say it's worth between 0.2 to 0.5 seconds per kilometer over there top of the line specialized TT3 helmet. Uh, they've also tested it against every single helmet on the market uh, in every possible configuration with their mannequin. Uh, and they reckon, for example, it would save you between 0.5 and 0.6 seconds over a Giro selector, which is one of the top helmets out there. Now, I was lucky to uh, ride in one of these on, on the weekend, in fact, in a 10 mile time trial. And while I did a, a good time, I think it was 18 minutes, 29 seconds, I was a bit off my PB of uh, 18.09, but I wouldn't put that down to the helmet. Um, basically, it feels good to wear. Uh, it was nice to wear it just with glasses. It's a little tight over the years, but uh, I'm, I'm sure over time that I'd get used to that. <laughs> and it matched my skin suit really well, which has got to be worth. 10 seconds, maybe 15. Unfortunately, these are going to be very rare. Uh, Specialized told us that there are only 200 of these going to be sold worldwide, 30 of which will make it to the UK. Uh, and if you do get to buy one of these, then uh, they'll cost you about 450 quid.